Hey guys, it's Yuta. So Japanese people have mixed opinions about Netflix Cowboy Bebop. First, a lot of them like the cast. If it had been filmed in Japan, all of the characters would have been Japanese, Asian. And the reality which is supposed to underlay the world view would have been lost. It seems like Japanese people appreciate the diversity. It should be a good thing that the creators have started to say no to going down the easy path of hiring famous white actors to make live action versions of shows from different countries. I guess they've learned their lessons from Ghost in the Shell. To be honest, I thought there would have been plenty of better actors for Spike. But when I watched the show, he was much cooler than I imagined. But many people didn't like the action scenes. The cheapness, poor timing, and the lack of speed in the action scenes don't give me the will to keep going to the end of the series. But a lot of people enjoyed the show. It was good. I love the original anime, but someone like me could enjoy the live action version. The live action Cowboy Bebop was good. And I didn't find many people who were unhappy about changing the story itself. It's quite good that they re-edited the original episodes and made them part of the story. One interesting thing is that many Japanese people didn't like how they used Japanese text in the opening song. The opening that shows Japanese text is not cool, but Yuko Kanno, the composer, is godly as expected. But the most common criticism seems to be how they changed the characters' personalities. The first thing that didn't feel right was that Jet talks a lot about his daughter. I thought he was a strong, silent, manly type, but in the new show, he became just an ordinary dad trying to do his best for his kid. Jet became kind of a tough black guy who is sweet with his kid trope. Spike is certainly a character who kills when he has to, but he wasn't just a mindless killer in the original anime. He would only kill when there is no other choice. He does kill a lot in the Netflix version. In the original anime, I always felt that Faye had a pretty awful personality but was a smart woman. However, in the Netflix version, she just seems like a straightforward woman with good reflexes. I get what this person means. Her personality was pretty different in the original series. When you watch the Netflix version, you realize how deep the characters were in the anime version. Some people say that the characters were Americanized. In the anime, Jet's creed was don't chase if one wants to leave. Because of that, his relationship with the rest of the crew was not so much like that of family, but more like an unemotional relationship between business partners. However, in episode 2 of the live action version, he starts the kind of argument that close people have saying, trust your partners and goes bowling with Faye and Spike to celebrate Faye's birthday. They generally have the kind of closeness of a substitute family. So a lot of people felt that the characters' personalities and their relationships were deeper in the original anime and they were simplified in the Netflix version. In the anime, Vicious past and its relationship between Spike and Julia are only shown in fragments, but in the live-action version, they show everything. This could be a cultural difference. In Japanese shows, we don't show everything, we only show what we show, and leave a lot of room for interpretations. But I noticed in Western shows, they tend to explain everything. If you compare Ghibli and Disney, you can only see some of those differences. I was a high school student when I first watched Cowboy Bebop. I really admire the hard-boiled characters and script, because they seem to come straight out of foreign movies and they were really cool. So it's ironic that when Hollywood finally remakes it, the original vibe has been lost. Well, the world of Cowboy Bebop is quite Western, but I think it's more like an idealized version of the West that the Japanese creator imagined. It is ironic when actual Western people remade the show, it lost a lot of its charm. Having said that, many people definitely enjoyed the original voice actors of the Japanese dub. I can totally watch this just because of the original voice actors. Or it could be a good enough show if you didn't watch the original anime. I don't really know the original version, so I watched it without prior knowledge, and I got into it. And if you speak Japanese, it will be interesting to compare the original version in Japanese and the live action version in English. But if you don't, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak, which can be different from the kind of Japanese that textbooks and apps teach you because they can be unnatural and outdated. 
So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.